I'm dropping it. Well, because of what's at stake, that's exactly why I'm dropping it then. I want to maximize. Usher What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. Please like the video and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So Kendrick Lamar released a surprise song on his Instagram page, supposedly titled Watch the Party Die. On the five minute song, he references Christian rapper Lacrae, Terrence Martin, and appears to be a reference to DJ Academics. He says, the radio personality pushing propaganda for salary, let me know when the turn up as a casualty. The track is the first new music from Kendrick Lamar since he released his smash single Not Like Us, which was the most successful release amid his back and forth with Drake earlier this year. Not Like Us became one of Kendrick's biggest hits to date, debuting at number one on Billboard. This release comes on the heels of the announcement of Kendrick Lamar as the performer of the 2025 Apple Music Super Bowl halftime show. It will be the second time he's doing the halftime show, following his featured spot during Dr. Dre's 2022 All-Star Tag Team of himself, Mary J. Blige, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, and 50 Cent. Selling over 600,000 records. Now, I wouldn't ask you that. How many more drops you think we get before we get the album? From uh, a few more. You got it. You got to get drops. I'm just saying. Five. IG, look, from yeah. now till February. Yeah. Yeah. Between between uh, three and five. You got to. If you have a whole project and you're trying to sell your project, and you have the Super Bowl, and you have this, the next single that's coming, and you'll want to do something around that, even for the lowest of visible guys. He is, he is visibly low. What are we about to be in October? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to go four. Four or five. It's five months to the okay. Super Bowl, so. Okay. I don't think you'll give us one a month even though. So y'all think his album does not come out prior to the Super Bowl? Uh, I think his album, maybe prior to. I, at first No, I, actually no. Because yeah. the whole industry shut down from uh, December to January. No, he ain't dropping. I don't have him dropping before then. At first I thought no. No. But as I unorthodox so. as this nigga moved. So. I wouldn't be surprised, yo. I wouldn't be shocked if you get a silent, a secret drop somewhere. Would I bet my poker chips center table for that? No. I'm not betting on that. I fold. You got it. Yeah. I just think Kendrick likes to do so much unexpected somebody on the, shit. I'm sorry. Somebody on the internet was like, uh, Drake dropped his dance album on Kendrick's birthday, so I'm guessing that Kendrick drops his album on Drake's birthday, which is October 20-whatever. I don't 24th. buy it. I don't, I don't buy it either, but I really enjoy internet theories. See, I just think... I got him doing the Usher. I, th I think Kendrick is so unpredictable, and he don't like... I think that nigga... I just think done. he knows a lot of people are done. expecting that. I think the album's So done. because that, I'm not dropping it. Well, because of what's at stake... That's exactly why I'm dropping it then. I want to maximize. Usher did the right thing, but it's Usher not during his heyday. Right. So you're going to see 100,000, 150,000, 200,000. For somebody that does 300, 400, somebody that has sniffed five and 600 before, I need to see what it looked like off my number one, off my fire oh, second single, <laughs> while everybody is in their living room together at halftime. I need to see it. That same mm -hmm. effect that the everybody living room had when Beyonce did the Ooh. Super Bowl, mm -hmm. I need to see it for the hip-hop niggas. Mm -hmm. Because now, if I come out and I'm just, I'm just throwing shit at a wall, if Kendrick come out and do... After Not Like Us, I had him going over 500. He do that. If he come yeah, out and yeah, do, I, I was too. if he sniffs six fifty and seven hundred, which we ain't been seeing without bundle packages, and you know he's gonna do bundle packages, and you know he's gonna do bundle packages. So you think that's contingent? You getting when? some PG Lang socks yeah. <laughs> and t shirts and a frisbee and a lighter, nigga? <laughs> he gonna play the game. And if he do six, if he do anywhere between six and seven hundred day of the Super Bowl, kiss the baby. Hold on, kiss the baby, buddy. There's nothing else that nobody can say to him. Mr. Morale did what? Yeah, talk no, to him. This can't be right. Talk to him, Big Freeze. No, no, no. This should say one seventy seven. This can't be right. That's not right. It wasn't his highest, but it didn't do one seventy seven. I'm pulling. His highest, I want to say, is Dam. Yeah, probably. Dam is the one that did six plus. Oh, here, commercial for First week? Uh, 258 for Mr. Morrell. 
And that's on the humbug, low, low, no momentum. Mm -hmm. We covered that shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, 295. 295. It wasn't no motion with that. actual albums. The only motion he had was that hard part five shit. Mm -hmm. And the AI vid. Nigga, he doing 600 easy. And then homeboy got to go to bed. He got to take a nap at that point. Or you got to go set it on somebody else. Damn did 600. Yeah, Yeah, man. I remember that. That was that was. I got him. I, yeah, I got him breaking six fifty. Uh, yeah, dropping on the Super Bowl with bundle packages. I got him breaking six fifty, maybe seven hundred. So the date is announced. The date. So I'm saying no. you have the date being announced, not like okay, and my album is out now. Oh no, date get announced. Okay, right. date get announced. Okay. He gonna give the people time that need to save money to buy it to buy it the same way he sold the tickets in fucking L. A. to the Metro PCS niggas. Got it. He gonna make sure everybody's covered. Because that's how you sell 700. Yeah I, 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 yeah. I think with all of that, I think he drops it prior to the Super Bowl. Like, like how far, week, how week far ahead? Maybe or something Nigga, like what that, if he say an hour before the Super no, Bowl? No, I'm talking you, about before. You mean like? No, end oh, of November. Week, week, oh, oh, end you, of November. Oh, you talking First about week of before. December, yeah. <laughs> I think he don't necessarily subscribe to playing the games like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think he care about it like that. Man. And I think he, that he going to do numbers regardless off of the year that he's had. I still... I, I think, think they, yeah. he don't need the Super Bowl to sit, move six hundred. Yeah, but I think that there also is probably some forces at play with the Super Bowl that would make him not the Super Bowl people or the production teams or whatever maybe saying do not drop until after the Super Bowl. We don't want anything to come out. Say there's something on the album that's offensive that may get people in an uproar or say uh, the album isn't received well. That's, that's they don't want to step on any of the great hype point. to the Super that's Bowl. That's a great point. So I I see it coming. That's a great either point. the week right before or the week after, after. some shit like that or yeah. drops. Day At of. halftime. Mm-hmm. This shit, oh, by the way, the album's on your phone right now. Yeah, yeah right, right after the performance. Yeah. That, that was a good point. I love this shit. All right. If you shit. had this Parks is... loving this on the Joe Budden yeah. podcast bingo card, I you think that's are... a given. This is my bag. Like You are hitting. Uh, All right. Yeah. Parks absolutely loves it. Little soul loop. I guess we're uh, starting from that way. All right. Big uh, freeze. Cool song. I'll never play it again. I'm not. Mm. This is not I don't, I don't love. I don't love or hate it. It's just, it's cool. Like, I get what he's saying. I understand what the song was meant to do, but this is not something that I would ever go back to listen to again. Okay. All right. Don't Uh, love it. Don't hate it. Cool. We'll never revisit this. Big freeze. You want to give everybody your socials? Yeah. (laughs) At at Officially Ice. At Officially Ice. Black Twitter Hall of Fame. Nigga, fuck is y'all talking about out there? Y'all know his body. Mm -hmm. Big, uh, big ish. Um, Conceptually, it was like a eight and a half for me. I like what he was talking about. I understand everything he was saying. Um, sonically, it was a like uh, like to Ice's point. It's not something that I'm gonna play. All right, but I think lyrically it was cool. love the concept. Lyrically amazing. As far as revisiting this, low probability yeah. there. Low probability. Flip. I like the record. Um, I just think the timing is wrong for me. I think it's the wrong time, I think, especially after everything that's going on with the whole Super Bowl thing. I just think to put a song out like that, it's just the wrong time. Um, that's the only thing for me that didn't make me really... I like the record. I think it's dope. I listened to it a couple of times. I like what he's saying, but it's like, nigga, you already won. It's not the time. You got the Super Bowl. People are mad about the Super Bowl, and then you drop this record. It's like kicking a dog while it's down. That's how I took it. You took you mm. take this as a diss record? You took this as a diss? Yeah. Yeah, yeah to me. To yeah. who though? To Drake? I thought that's how I took it when I was listening oh, no, to I it. Oh, no, I definitely didn't, didn't, didn't take it as a diss. I didn't take, I didn't take it as that at all. I, I, not at all. It's like more critical. He criticizing society. He criticizing mm-hmm. hip hop. He no, criticizing. I took it, I t- I took it uh, as he was our he, culture. But the I, walk a man down line is more impactful after many people think that he walked a man down. True. But yes. I don't think he's referring to Drake. I think he's saying this is what it's going to take from all of us. Yes. Mm-hmm.